attitude like a young O'Shea with an AK. Okay, don't you tell these motherfuckers that my name is O'Shea. What up, everyone? It's the Nation of Podcation Daily Podcast. I'm O'Shea. Make sure you guys hit that like and subscribe button. Also, make sure you follow me on Instagram at the real underscore O Barber Brand and at Nation of Podcation on Instagram and TikTok. Hip hop superstar recently released rapper BG is getting released from jail again. Now, this time it's for BG working with rappers who are known felons. We got Boosie Badass, you got Kevin Gates, you got Finesse two times, and you got Gucci Man, all who have been around BG, and this is what caused the New Orleans judge to say, and eh, eh, we're not having it, and extradite him back from Las Vegas all the way to New Orleans so he could go through this new trial. Now, as we all know, as convicted felon, you're not supposed to be around other people that have felons or on felony probation, and he has done that. So, yes, did he break some laws? Yes, unfortunately, but in BG's defense, he was working. It wasn't like he was doing nothing extra. It wasn't like he was planning to sell drugs. It wasn't like he was back into the gun stuff. It was no witness tampering. There was no foul play here. He was just doing what he's been doing since he's been 12 years old, rapping professionally. He's never had a real job at a Walmart or a McDonald's or at some call center or doing some construction work. Uh -uh. He ain't never had a real job. All he knows is to go back and rap. So what did he do? He went back and rap and he went back and rap with the people that he's comfortable with working with. Gucci Mane, Boosie Badass, Kevin Gates, to, you know, just name a few. Now, on recent IG posts, BG has broken his silence and says that it's him against the world. He's got the Tupac playing in the background. Basically, like I'm saying, it's him against the world, how all these judges are trying to hold him down, and he's just trying to do right. He hasn't failed any drug tests. He hasn't missed any probation hearings. He hasn't missed any community service. Now, BG's done everything that he's needed to do to be a working civilian in the United States. All he does is know how to rap. He's just doing his job. Now, there's several other rappers that do the exact same thing as BG. They go around, they travel, they work with other convicted felons, and nothing happens to them. But with BG being fresh out, I believe the judges in New Orleans, we know how it is down in the South, they have some eyes out for him. Well, let's take a look at this clip from BG as he posts online, and he tells how the folks are trying to hold him down. Now, BG posted, it's crazy how after paying my debt to society with 12 and a half years of my life, I come home and still ain't free. I've been doing everything the right way and it seems like that ain't enough. I've been going through it behind the scenes and got a muzzle warm for the time being, but I'm confident I'll come out on top. Always do. Appreciate y'all for staying down. RNS 100, the comeback kid. BG also posted, it's never been easy being Jeezy, but I'm real, so I make it look that way. I always thrive under pressure and fight harder when my back is against the wall. I came too far to give up or lay down. The real gonna keep riding with me, and my haters gonna keep hating on me. I'm here for it all. 100. Salute. Come back, kid. RNS. I appreciate you. The support is real. I'm just trying to live my life. Last post, BG went to church, and, he, and BG post, I had a wonderful day at church today as I do every Sunday. They said when you're on the right track and doing the right thing, the devil be mad and get busier. He gonna keep being mad at me. 100, salute. Come back, kid. RNS, I appreciate y'all. Support is real. 100, I'm just trying to live my life. Only God can judge me. So as I was saying, BG is on his Tupac stuff. It's him against the world. I'm sure that's how he's feeling right now because he just got out. He's been doing everything right. There's no weed that's been found in his drug test. There's no dope. There's nothing like that. There's no gun play. There's not him doing anything. He's going to church. He's married. He's doing all the right things. And there's still, like he said, the devil trying to bring him back down. I hope for BG's sake and our sake, he can get this resolved so we can get back to BG making us good music. What we're all waiting for is that Hot Boys reunion, him linking back up with Wayne, Turk, and Juvie, Manny Fresh, and Birdman, so we can get this Cash Money Millionaires reunion. That's what the whole world is waiting on. We're waiting for the dominoes to fall. This is just one of those minor setbacks and a major comeback. Nation, what do you think about BG's situation with him being released from jail again? What do you think about him not being able to work with certain rappers? Do you think the judges should give him a pass and let him work with whoever he wants to? What do you guys think about a Hot Boys reunion in 2024? Are you looking for that? Are you looking to see Wayne, Turk, Juvie, and BG reunited with Bird Man and Manny Fresh for that Cash Money Millionaires reunion. You're looking for the album, you're looking for the tour. What are you guys looking for from them in 2024? Or do you just want to see BG stay free, stay solo, and just continue to work on his own crap and continue to make us dope music? Nation, let me know in the comment section down below. Make sure you guys hit that like and subscribe button on your way out. Oh, Shane, I
and I've been kicking it strong for a minute now. O'Shea doesn't drink. He doesn't smoke. O'Shea is a professional model. Attitude like a young O'Shea with an AK. Okay, don't you tell these motherfuckers that my name is O'Shea.